Hello and welcome to CIA. My name is Mayank and in this video I will show you how you can install Docker on Amazon Lightsail but you can replicate the same step for any other Linux based server. So first of all I have created an instance with minimum of 2 GB RAM. Uh, this is just for the demonstration purposes but you can uh, if you want to run more applications using Docker, you must install with at least 4 GB RAM. That's uh, actually suggested good for the performances. This is a prerequisite video for my videos on Natan. Uh, so if you have not subscribed and you are uh, you want to learn about Natan as well, you can subscribe to this channel. Uh, this is a very basic light sail instance I have created. And you can see this is a 2 GB RAM with 2 CPU and 60 GB SSD. I have already mapped a domain on this. Um, it's called demodav.app. So let's go on and uh, get started by installing the Docker. So this is my first ever login on this server. So first of all, what I will do is I will uh, run the command. Um, and by the way, this is uh, this is running uh, Ubuntu 24.04 LTS. So this is the server. So first of all, I'm just going to run the command sudo apt update uh, this will make sure that all the uh, all the repository package repositories on this server are up to date and uh, then i will just run uh, sudo apt upgrade as well hyphen y flag tells it uh, to just proceed because if you don't pass the hyphen y flag it will just ask you if you want to proceed or not proceed so i just want to do it so i have just passed the hyphen y flag while this is getting installed, let me tell you two things. Um, we are going to install Docker and Docker Compose because these are the two uh, things that we will use in our upcoming tutorials. And there will be another tutorial how you can install Node.js because I will tell you how you can install uh, Natan without using Docker as well. Okay, so now the inst uh, package installation is complete. So now let's proceed to install the Docker. So for that, I have just visited the uh, official Docker website and uh, I've gone into the documentation and I will see the installation for Ubuntu. So you will get everything uh, that you need to uh, install Docker here. So what you can do is you can simply copy the command from here and paste it on your console and proceed. Uh, first of all, it will uh, get the certificates and then it will uh, validate the key rings and then set up the repository for Docker. And finally, it will uh, update the uh, packages one more time and then it will uh, tell you that we are ready to install the Docker. Then you get two options here. Uh, either you can install a specific version or you can install the latest version. So I will go for the latest version. So I will just click copy here and go back to our terminal and paste this command and wait for installation okay so it seems like the installation is complete so let's check docker version and it tells you that the version is installed so let's try with the hello world uh, container so let's run it uh, i think initially i just need to run it with sudo it will download the image and uh, try to run it and as you can see, uh, the hello world was successfully executed and right now there is no container running. Okay, so right now it is asking me to use sudo as uh, I try to run docker command. But I don't want that. I want to be able to run as my uh, regular user which I am using to log, in, uh, log on onto my server. So for that, you just need to add your uh, user to the group. So, so this will add my user which is Ubuntu to group docker and now as you can see i can run docker without using sudo user okay i can try it again docker run and you can see that it is now running okay so we need to make sure that we also have docker compose because uh, it is very convenient to use docker compose instead of always running docker commands to run your containers so to check if your docker compose is installed or not you can run the command docker compose version and this will tell you that your docker compose is also installed but uh, docker itself is not enough if you want to run something uh, you need to have a reverse proxy because docker is running your uh, 
your website or your application on uh, a container and you need to expose the port from that container and then use reverse proxy to map it onto your actual domain so for that i'm going to use nginx so let's go on and install nginx as well Okay, so to test if uh, everything is working um, and uh, we, we want to expose the application from Docker to our the domain, uh, let's go and create a very small dummy app. So first of all, I will create a directory for this. This is the code to run a very simple HTTP server on port 5000 and this is a plain Python code so uh, nothing fancy in it. So uh, that's it. So now let's create the docker file for this. We are using Python 3 work dir we need to tell it about the work directory which is going to be app and it will copy app.py the file which we created to the uh, work directory and then we need to tell it the command to run it so we are going to use python and we will run the app by app.py so this is it the docker file is ready now we need to build this uh, as docker image so let's run it docker build and now this is preparing our docker image okay so the image is ready as you can see uh, we have two images one is dummy app that we just created and second one is hello world so let's go on and uh, run this as a docker container Okay, so to understand this, this uh, we are telling the Docker to run an app and uh, name it dummy app and we are mapping the port 5000 from within Docker environment to the server environment, right? So let's go for it. And now when we do Docker PS, we can see that the app is running. To check this, I can run a command and when I run the curl command to see if the page is responding or not, it is telling us that the page is responding and this is the page. So we know that now the app is working within the Docker. So how do we map it onto the domain so that you can access it on your browser? Uh, first of all, we need to create the configuration file. Uh, so I have opened the configuration file and in this one, we need to just place a very basic configuration like this uh, and here as you can see i have just added a server configuration which is listening on the port 80 which is default http port and then a uh, server name will be demo dev dot app or its www counterpart and proxy pass is just passing the uh, passing the local host local host means that server or the ip is 127.0.0.1 and on port 5000 and it will just pass it to the port 80 which is the actual port uh, listening on the server so that's the very basic of it and uh, let's just uh, save it once it is uh, created we need to create a link of this in the sites enabled directory as well so sudo ln ss And we need to create the link in. Then we can test the configuration by running nginx t. It says the configuration is okay, so let's just reload it. Okay, so now let's install the cert bot so that we can obtain the let's encrypt certificate for this. Done. Let's now get the certificate. Uh, 
okay uh okay i know what happened i did not configure this app so i will just uh, this domain with www so i will remove it and try again okay so the certificate is now available so let's test it uh, first i will just reload our application uh, on nginx And now let's try to access the application in the browser. Okay, so as you can see, this is being um, loaded from our demo app that we created in the Python. And uh, yeah, well, as you can see, this is the code it's telling. So we know now that the Docker is working. Now we know that the Nginx is working and the app is loading. So now we need to see how Docker Compose works. Let me go back and here what I will do is uh, right now this container is running so I will remove this container and we will run the same container using docker compose. So what to do, um, let's stop it first, docker stop dummy app. As you can see now the image or the container is no longer running and if I try to see the app it will not show anything because the underlying docker has stopped i will remove the docker as you can see now the uh, dummy app container is no longer existing let's create the same app with docker compose now so i will create another do uh, directory So I copied the same app here and uh, now let's create the docker file as well. Docker file will remain the same uh, so I will just copy it as well. And now we need to create the docker compose so let's create docker compose. So first of all, let's specify the version of the syntax that we are going to use. So version will be 3.8. Then services, we need to specify, we will call it dummy app. We need to expose the ports here as well. And finally, specify this. Okay, so the Docker Compose is ready. Now all you need to do is uh, type Docker Compose up. Let's try with localhost first. And it is responding. And we can see that this is the new image created and uh, the name is docker compose P previous one was dummy app so this is working and uh, we can check on our browser as well again on our browser it is working again uh, please subscribe if you want to learn more about the natan and the natan has really changed the market with uh, its ai compatible nodes and it supports OpenAI by default. So I'm going to present a lot of tutorials on Natan with AI. So if you want to sub, uh, if you want to learn about Natan and how to work with AI and create your own automations, do subscribe to the channel and give this video a like if it was helpful for you. Thank you so much. Bye bye.